Hello, my fellow globetrotters and fans of foreign languages, travel abroad, and just uh, learning about the world at large. And uh, I got the Swedish flag set up because I'm going to do a Swedish language video later. So I'm getting my notes prepared, and uh, so I'm going to prat på svenska and uh, just uh, just tell about myself in Swedish. And uh, it's just more of a practice, and part of the reason is because. Uh, Sweden is one of the big stops on my itinerary when I go to Europe. Then uh, I'm going to be flying from, I'm, yeah, after Finland and Estonia. I decided just to fly to Sweden instead of taking the ferry. Which, uh, you know, it would have been all night. But uh, it's like, why not just go just direct to Sweden and fly? And so I'm going to go out in this town and get some... Uh, Souvenirs like the uh, De La Haste, that's the traditional painted, usually red horse, and I uh, just want to, I'm going to meet up with some friends, and I'm going to see how much Swedish I can still speak, or um, how much Swedish do I really know, and you know, I've always been trying to practice with multimedia, and uh, I have friends in Europe, their kids, their daughters want to learn Spanish, so I got a couple more of these. I have another stack that I have pre-packed in my suitcase, but I happen to find these, and uh, yeah, the kids will love it. And uh, these are books I've shown in a previous video. Like this is for Korean, and the other two are Russian. I'm saving those for when I really start uh, to get off the ground and start uh, moving around Europe, and then of course I got another two weeks in Japan, so that's going to be something. So. It's going to help keep my mind trained. Believe me, like when you're sitting on a train or in airports or, you know, bus stations, like it gets boring. So uh, these definitely help fill the time. And it's better than just playing with your phone all day like everyone else does. Like I do too, so I can't really point fingers. But just a quick uh, update of what I'm up to. And, uh, and uh, next video I'm going to talk in Swedish, or at least try to talk in Swedish. Thanks for watching.